listening to Artcast from our studio in Sofia, Bulgaria. Hello, dear listeners of Artcast Radio Podcast. I am Plamen and I will be your host for the two parts of this podcast called There and Back Again, in which we're going to learn more about the journey and the experience of our EVS volunteers from Africa. So without further ado, let's hear what they have to share with us. Madam President, please. <laughs> okay. Hello, my name is Ayub Mbarazi. I am 28 years old and I am from Tanzania. I am a musician by professional and uh, also I like to call myself an as an artist because I can dance, I can act, I can do a lot of art activities and also I do event management, event organization and a lot of things. Uh, my hobby is uh, swimming, drinking, drinking, drinking and eating, uh, movies, uh, especially series and hanging out with friends. Uh, I have something interesting, uh, an interesting information about me that uh, I am the last and uh, the first born, but I have sisters and uh, because my mother had three kids and I'm the last born and my father had just one person and that's me. So I'm the first and the last born. So I have that pleasure of being called brother, but also a young brother. Uh, I decided to go on my EVS because I wanted to learn about a lot of things, trying to share my experience with other people, trying to learn about other people's culture. I've been to different countries in Africa and uh, I've learned a lot about them and I wanted to learn about uh, European culture. Also, I wanted to gain some experience uh, uh, beside of what I have in Tanzania. Uh, because performing or singing in front of Europeans is very different from Tanzanian and I wanted to learn their music and uh, try to see the different and uh, contrast between our culture, especially in art. Mm. The first time my feelings when uh, I knew that I'm going to Bulgaria, it was a little bit nervous, but uh, according to, due to my lifestyle, I, it was easy to to get used to it and uh, my friends were very happy you know it's, it's Tanzania so going to Europe for some people is very very mm, it's like you are lucky but uh, it's good so so far the first feeling was good and uh, the support was good my family supported me my friends and yeah a lot of people expect expected me to do good in Europe uh, my first thought about Bulgaria were ah, I don't know. Uh, at first, I asked people, "How does, how do Bulgaria looks like? How people live in Bulgaria?" And uh, the first, uh, the first picture that I got in my, in my head was uh, a country uh, full of snow. Uh, people cannot go out because it's too cold. And uh, actually, I was not uh, disappointed as the first day when I went to Bulgaria because it, I left in Daresa, it was like 25 degrees. And when I, I landed in Bulgaria, it was minus 20, so yeah, I lived to my expectations. Uh, <coughs> um, there was no negative experience so far. You know, in the world right now, everyone is talking about racism, it's talking about the, how people look at uh, African, and uh, in Bulgaria, I see things are a little bit different. Uh, different people are different and uh, you'll find a lot of people in different places even in Tanzania you have racist people you ha you go to America you have racist people and uh, <coughs> in Bulgaria there are but uh, I've never encountered one face to face and uh, so there's no negativity also I've lived with a lot of Bulgarians I've done a lot of uh, trip in Bulgaria and lived with the locals and uh, to be honest I've enjoyed a lot these people are very positive and uh, I like them a lot and I would like to go back again. Mm. One of the interesting uh, situations I came across, I remember that uh, 
when I was uh, just arrived, like two or three weeks, I went to this festival. It's called the Kukar Festival. People wearing masks and dance aloud around. And uh, when we get there, we had two Africans and other eight Europeans were doing together EBS. And uh, one very interesting thing <laughs> happened. And uh, at first, it was a little bit awkward because uh, I didn't uh, expect because uh, all the performers, uh, like a lot of them, like 100 performers, and uh, the audience were like 500 or something, stopped doing what they're doing, and everyone wanted to take a picture. I felt like a celebrity, and uh, to some point, it was okay, what am I gonna do? And yeah. I had a lot of pictures with those guys and it was good so it was very interesting and I just uh, I was surprised because some of the people who were taking pictures were saying that they've never never seen a black person before and some people have seen Africans and everything and to me it was awesome because uh, I could know that uh, it was the same as me when I was a kid I couldn't meet any European guy any white guy and uh, to some point there are some white people who have never seen a black person and to them it was a different experience a different uh, kind of feeling and it was a good feeling so it was uh, very very good mm. in my EVS in Bulgaria my main job and responsibility uh, um, our project was called the Art and Culture for Unity, so it was most uh, trying to use art and cultural activities to to interact with different uh, people. So use the culture for Europeans and uh, Africans try to interact, and it was very amazing. I was a musician, so I had uh, different performers. Uh, I organized some events. Uh, uh, we made a lot of podcasts and uh, my main job in this podcast was mostly editing and also as a presenter. There are a lot of things in, in my EVS. Um, I did uh, two of my projects. The first one was uh, it's, uh, it was uh, introducing Tanzania to Bulgarians. And uh, what I did in that uh, project was um, organizing an event, presenting Tanzania to the Bulgarians, uh, our culture. You know, a lot of Bulgarians didn't know how many people, uh, how many tribals are in, in Tanzania, where do Tanzanian is, uh, what kind of language we speak, what kind of food we eat. And my event was trying to present uh, what Tanzanian culture is, how many tribals, uh, what kind of food we eat, uh, what kind of people are there, what kind of language we speak what are our, uh, our behavior, what is good and what is bad in Tanzania, uh, jokes and everything, and that was very good with me. And the next project that I did was called Express the Unexpressed, and it was mainly focused on helping uh, the youngsters to express what they cannot express in a normal life. In the society we have religions, we have uh, rules, and we have uh, tradition cultural uh, barriers that uh, a normal person cannot uh, cannot express like for example you cannot speak in front of your parents uh, what are your feelings you cannot say if you don't believe in something because uh, your whole family believe in that uh, you cannot criticize a political administration because uh, the laws of the society the law of the country doesn't allow you and express the unexpressed was mainly focused on telling people that they can express what they feel and be part of the society. So I did the event, uh, there were a lot of performers and it was very, very successful. Uh, the cultural difference between Tanzania and Bulgaria is not that big. Yeah, it's different. It's Europe and Africa, everyone knows so, but uh, it's not that different. It's just we, uh, we have different uh, language, but uh, Mm, the norms and uh, everything that is do, done in the society, the regions we have Christian and Muslim and Islamic, they're, <laughs> they're also the same. Uh, you have to respect your elders, uh, this education system is just almost the same. The only difference that uh, is in Bulgaria that I can talk a lot is the uh, different uh, when in crima climatic change. Because uh, they have winter, they have spring, they have um, summer, 
and they have autumn, but in Tanzania we have summer and uh, rainy summer, as I called it. It's just summer with a lot of rains and summer and summer. So for me it was a very big change, especially in winter. Just come out with a, from a region that have 20 to 30 degrees to zero to minus something. It was very, very difficult. But uh, I get used to it and it was good. And uh, I think that was also the most shocking thing that I, I got in Bulgaria. Mm, as I said, people are very, are very kind, are very good. Uh, the common thing between Bulgaria and Tanzania, the, that uh, all the people are very kind. I don't know, but I've been in Tanzania, I've seen a lot of people are kind. If you have a problem, you can just stop somewhere, ask someone. If you are lost, someone can host you in, a, in his or her house and you can leave or something. The same was in Bulgaria. People are very kind. If you are lost, you can ask. If you're traveling and uh, you cannot uh, reach the place where you're going, you can just talk to the village and ask someone to help you out. And they can host you, give you food, and give you a place to sleep. So this is a very common thing, something that is uh, very common between Bulgaria and Tanzania. Um, actually, I like almost everything is when it comes to food. Uh, the cities are very, very, very amazing. I, I actually want to go back, especially like Sofia, where I used to live, uh, Varna, because of the beach and Bugas. Also, you uh, have uh, Verikotel Novo, and that's amazing. It's just a very good city. Mm. For now, I'm home, and uh, I'm excited to be back home. It's home, so yeah, I'm excited, but it's somewhere that I used to live for like 20 years. 20-something uh, years, so I'm excited uh, meeting different people, friends, uh, family, and life is still the same as before. And uh, one of my plans is to do some workshops, uh, engage in different uh, workshop also, even to, to try to share my experience, to try to show people what is the difference between us and uh, and Bulgarians, what are the good things between us and Bulgarians, what they can learn from there, and what they can teach Bulgarians from here. Because uh, we always believe that maybe your culture is not good as ours, or their culture is better than ours, something like that. But to be honest, there's nothing better than others. Everything is just the same. We just, uh, like, I know how to cook uh, banitsa, they know how to cook pilau. So, the difference is that just what I know you don't know, and what you know I don't know. We can always share and become one a good society. Um, for people who maybe think maybe EVS is uh, risky or something, I'll just I want to tell you something. Uh, life is all about learning. Life is all about uh, know, uh, uh, getting knowledge from different places. So. Don't worry, EVS is great. You'll meet uh, different people from different countries, uh, and uh, everyone has their own experience, their own stories. And also, it's a very good place to build your experience and your, um, your knowledge when it comes to a professional. For example, I'm, I was a musician and I used to perform like every day. If you are a doctor in EVS, you can help uh, in a hospital or something. If you are a lawyer, you can help with law issues with the society. EVS is a very good place, but also it's a very good place to know uh, different cultures. So don't worry, just just uh, engage in EVS. And uh, my final word, what, what would I say? It's like, uh, I would just say thank you to my organization in Tanzania, Chamuino Art Center. Uh, thank you to PEPA, my director, Thank you to Open Space Foundation, thank you to Viorina, a lot of people, Ogi, uh, everyone, thank, uh, thank EVS for this great opportunity because without that, uh, I think all this experience, I would never get it. So that is my final word and uh, to all the people out there, believe in yourself, enjoy the life, EVS is everything. Thank you, Sayubu Mbarazi. Thank you, Ayubu, for sharing with us your story. And now it's time for our musical break. And once again, we're going to hear the inspiring Bulgarian band Sobemo and their song Vovtoziret na Misli.
Digo Bibi lo de Punish This Man Dose y red no me sleep Mai po prvi ste po tebe sa vsem Dnes vrbeo ne brzo bi mislja S tebe šte prekaram dose i den Treba li te trebaš? Nema da ti pustam za moment A si ti Stava me kroz tibi momenti Misliš li Če zajedno što stignem da leč Ljubov da Ne nese izmed procenti Od čustva da Spotelja ni Vseki den Znaješ li kako me pobrpa I ne smeja te si mislja Če može nekoj da te vzeme od me Znaješ li kako me poprva Če može da te njama nekoj ide Thank you Sobemo for this amazing track. You can listen to Sobemo on their YouTube channel or check them on Facebook. And now it's time to continue with the story of our EVS volunteers from Africa. My name is Nakato Rachel. I am 19 years old from Uganda. I am still a student. My hobbies are singing, dancing, reading novels and also visiting the nature like going into the mountains seeing sunsets i'm interested in making new friends exploring new things and also making friendship with any any age especially young kids because i like them so much and i like them teaching new things always when i meet them i decided to come to evs because i wanted to express myself i wanted to work as a professional because i had all these skills since i was 14 years old but i never had a chance to express it as professional and to use it in a foreign country and also to use it in different places and use also different techniques uh, my reason for coming to Bulgaria was especially it was a culture art and culture for unity to extend culture from our from our traditions, from our from our societies, from Uganda, in times of dancing, in times of socializing, in times of uh, communicating, in times of digitalizing, and and everything. Uh, feeling, I had a feeling before the trip. It was not. I was not so scared. 
but i was so excited when i heard that i'm flying over to europe this is my, this was my first travel to europe so i was excited and so surprised to get this travel and i was very prepared for it because i knew i'm going to meet new people new things new environment new condition everything was going to be new for me so i was so much excited to get this opportunity to go to bulgaria uh, my friends were also happy for me and they always wished good things for me they helped me to prepare myself in such especially in work times like facilitation we engaged in facilitation before coming to Bulgaria because we mainly do facilitation at soul expression and dancing facilitation combines many things many things like visual art creative writing drama public speaking dancing everything music so they helped me to prepare myself in this specific things and also my first thought for Bulgaria was like how will people see me as a black person in their country how will they feel to stay with a black person because i know those people i was scared that maybe some of them they ignore us and yes some of them they did but it wasn't that i also had a thought of being independent being away from my family how will it be possible how will i stand by my own try to walk on street by my own and new new streets and new try to adapt everything transport food and everything i had many thoughts in my head but time went on i got obsessed and enjoying the moments in bulgaria my expectation were mostly to to express my activities from my dance company from uganda in open space foundation to work for the organization as hard as i can and to use everything that i know since i was young to put it in my work in open space foundation especially for example like in projects projects we have ideas and it's from our thoughts and love things that we would like to do so this uplifted my skills and this was my expectation to overcome it's to overcome the to overcome this task of setting up something from the first beginning to the last beginning and got and get positive um and get positive uh results from it my expectation was to learn more using digital like using social medias um using uh, mathematics like making accountability uh making events uh socializing with people getting connection those were my expectation and yes i met them they met my reality because i left bagraria when i did all my projects that i had planned to do and also i met new people i got connection and everything the difference in society and climate this was my first time to see snow i was so surprised but i was happy i was not scared of snow because i enjoyed playing with it outside and i could stay without anything guiding me from the coldness i used to stay in coldness but here came the problem when we turned to summer i got this allergy of eyes from the blowing trees which came really a problem to me as a, as a very bad experience from the climate the society was so good for me so welcoming everywhere you go all friends that i met the family were so welcoming and so appreciative to everything that you show them we used to make events people were happy and appreciating and wanting more which made me which made me surprised and so happy for my work done because people were appreciating for everything that i do negatively it's only that sometimes we walk on street we fail to find locations and you would like to get help from someone and they ignore us because they don't know the language that we speak and they can't speak english with us so they used to to ignore us i think that was 
in the negativity ah uh, but also some conflicts in uh, in my organization when i went you know things are not simple there are sometimes that things messed up with workmates also my boss so not everything went well but i was able to overcome them the, the positivity among all i take is the courage the encouragement that came from pepa the one of open space foundation was it has developed me into someone important and grateful and happy and energetic so that is the very first thing that i appreciate from open space foundation it has groomed me th- into a responsible person into a big person now now i know to use many things and to do to deal with different things by my own uh interesting things in bulgaria was to make events people used to come to our events we had used to have good times and also finishing my task of making podcast i was so interested in making interview with different people especially big people well 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 experienced professionals i got love i fell in love in making podcast cuz this this was like who i am what age am i to stand with this person honing this school honing this building to ask her questions in her life and she could answer me and she could appreciate me that was the very interesting things in evs and also the situations the parks the parks were so good well conditioned nice places to rest nice places to have fun nice places to breathe new air the transportation shopping those situations how outing with friends free times they are so good to me visiting new cities in bulgaria it was so 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 nice for me and my main job and responsibility were to make podcasts throughout the project making personal uh implementing personal projects like making events ugandan events ugandan's movie like dancing in school yeah and also working on the open space foundation page youtube facebook Mm, Instagram yes that was the main reason um yeah share culture to, make, to carry out podcast connecting people from Africa and Bulgaria to share the differences in culture yes to car- main must to share our cultures but the main reason was to make podcast and yes personal project i had ugandan movie which came out very well and i had a uh, ugandan event which was so so super and i had also my project in teaching dance in school rolling which went so successful i was so happy implementing my project everything went so 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 great so i was happy for my project dancing in school and i feel like i fall in love with those kids and i still want to work with them and expre- expressing myself as Rachel i grew up in this time in in this situation of dancing in this i i i, I am so at the same side i'm so emotional i could not deal with some conflicts that make that breaks my heart but yes I fought with it and I overcome everything that came into my way. I expressed myself through dancing outside the organization and yes, it made me so proud of myself and it made me more confident and um, getting used to people and how to deal with different people in different categories. Yes. Everything I enjoyed everything during my EVS. especially um, doing my work in open space foundation because everything was so successful uh, after there my free times i enjoyed my free times because i did something productive to me i went back home not regretting uh yes so the things i enjoyed also friends parks i enjoyed parks i enjoyed visiting new cities like shimon shimen um Uh, Bulgars, Valna, Plovdiv, all those nice cities and different events set up in Sofia. Those were the most things that I enjoyed in Bulgaria. 
Uh, the most thing that I learned basically is using social media because I was poor in using social media but now I can't really use social media I can't do editing videos audio I can work on pages I can make events make posters such things those are the most things that I learned things that I miss from home I only miss the food from home because I was used to Ugandan food and think that and also my family and my fam- my dance family yes that's all but the, the elf I don't I didn't miss them um, di- culture differences I was so surprised about the dance the Bulgarian dance was different the language was different how mothers care for their children it was different how they respond towards the public holidays it was totally different from ugandan style people in bulgaria are so welcoming and so friendly i appreciate that and the shocking thing was people ignoring if you try to ask them when they don't know what you are speaking instead of trying to help they ignore you that was the most shocking things and then the common things in culture here what i know in culture uh the common thing is uh the way people respond to the national days like easter they have their own ways they make them and the same thing in uganda they response they they respond like really if it is easter they prepare for it what i saw in bulgaria is so they prepare it different but it's almost the same so yeah the food food is so different like moussaka taratol banita things are different but so sweet and delicious cities cities especially cities are main are really clean everything is well modernized everything is developed so i like cities in bulgaria in sofia valna plovdiv everything is nice considering to our cities in uganda so i miss every i miss the cities i miss the transportation i miss the shopping and everything everything is well organized people people are good and welcoming i miss the events many events all the time in sofia all the time everywhere and if you would like to participate and if you like to be engaged they welcome you that was so surprising to me um and also back home people were happy for me my family was waiting for me for that long 6 months that was my first time traveling away from my parents so they were waiting for me happy for me to tell them what i did in bulgaria to share everything yes sharing knowledge yes with my dance company i shared my knowledge with my colleagues i told them what we used to do i'm ready to help in any situation that they would like me to help them i'm ready to add something in my organization yeah and also i yeah right now i miss bulgaria cuz i miss everything that we used to do i miss everything that we used to get Mm, yeah that's it and the only advice that i give to any volunteers that go to ev that do evs is to not be scared and to know how to fight on their conflicts and to know how to finish their tasks and to know how to coordinate with the rest and to know how to follow the condition and adapt new conditions new culture new language to feel comfortable and to feel themselves if you feel yourself you have no fear when i started feeling myself the the first month the second month everything was okay for me so that is the main main advice that i give to any volunteer in evs thank you so much i remain as nakato rachel from soul expressions uganda Thank you for listening to this episode of our Artcast Radio podcast. Stay tuned and check out our YouTube channel to find more interesting topics. The project is carried out thanks to the financial support of the European program Erasmus+, K-Action 2, capacity building in the field of youth.